think it, it's going to come at one point and uh, I've been trying to uh, work a lot on it and um, just I guess the future will tell us what the, what the future holds me so uh, but uh, for now I'm going by day by day and uh, enjoying the process of it. You know, I know you added a lot of weight last off season. Do you add any more pounds this season or this off, this past off Yeah, I mean, I I feel like it's more than than pound. I, at one point, I feel like it's uh, how strong you are uh, too. I mean, you can be two hundred pound, but not be as strong as a guy who's uh, one seventy, but lift the same thing as you. So uh, I really don't care about my weight. I just go out there and uh, be the better, better version of myself. Doesn't matter what weight I am, but. Uh, I'm just trying to be uh, uh, as strong as possible on the ice. Have you noticed a difference so far, Pio, out there? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think uh, uh, the skating uh, is a little bit better. Um, I think the pace from last year kind of helped me a lot too, so um, I'm happy that uh, I was able to learn a lot from last year and uh, to carry this into this year uh, training camp. Pio, how uh, challenging was it working with Chris this offseason? Obviously, he's well known for his work ethic, especially in the gym. Yeah, uh, I mean, like I said, I wasn't with him in the gym, but uh, going on the ice against him, I mean, he... <laughs> He didn't lay uh, his hand off me the entire summer on the ice, but uh, no, every time he had the chance to push me a little harder, he was doing it, uh, uh, even if it was the first time we're on the ice or the last time. So, uh, like I said, I'm really lucky that he's pushing me, and uh, I'm pushing him a little bit as well. So. Yeah, the previous uh, management regime seemed to think you had the potential to play the offside. Um, is that something you think you can do? Have you been given any guidance that it's something that they might want to see from you? Um. Honestly, like I said, I think I'm just going day by day. Um, I'm not trying to think uh, too far ahead. Um, I think it's a it's a really competitive training camp. So uh, our our goal is to make a spot on the on our strong side. But um, I think if we have uh, if we have the, the potential and uh, if we have the chance to play on the offside and still play in the NHL, I feel like uh, everybody would try and uh, and consider it. So, uh, but like I said, I'm going day by day to see uh, how it goes. You've done it before. Uh, no, I don't think oh, yeah. I've ever been playing on the right side, but uh, I mean, I play from, side, from time to time when Chris yeah. goes all over the place, but uh, no, I'm just trying to get used to it a little bit. You, you talked about gaining strength. Is there any way you can quantify that? Is there a certain lift that you're especially proud of that you improved or anything along those lines? I think it was just the overall. Um, I think it's, uh, it's hard to just improve one thing without improving the other. So um, I think, like I, like I said, I mean, learning from a lot from last year, I feel like your overall uh, game, so your overall strength needs to improve. So um, I think that's what I did this summer, and um, I'm really happy with the, the way I improved. Is that something you feel you're able to do over the course of a season two, just continue to add more strength during the, the regular season? Yeah, I guess I'm really lucky uh, uh, for this. I mean, I don't lose so much weight, so I mean, I don't have a lot to lose, but uh, no, we're really lucky to have some good uh, strength coach in the team and the organization. So um, even last couple of years with uh, Mike Joyce in the, in the AHL or with Alex Alexis, uh, it's been amazing. So uh, we couldn't be in between better hands than this. How much, how much does the coaching staff tell you in terms of how they envision your season playing out, whether you're going to, you know, start an AHL or whether you have an opportunity to try to fight for an NHL spot? Like, what have they kind of detailed to you along those lines? Honestly, I think the main, the main talk was uh, just to come here with a great mentality and uh, uh, don't change my mojo of just having fun out there and, uh, like I said, just uh, you know, going day by day and uh, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. But, uh, like, I, like I said, I'm not trying to see the future. I'm just trying to uh, go as hard as I can every day, every time I'm on the ice. Thanks, Thank you.